Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So for today what we're going to be doing is my hair because as you can see it is in need of a dye. So let's go! So here's my disclaimer if you want to pause and read it quickly and we are going to get started. So the first thing you're going to need is a bowl and a brush. <clears throat> I got mine from Sally's. You're also going to need some kind of gloves to protect your hands from the hair dye. Again, I just picked those up at my local drugstore. Um, bleach. I didn't realize I didn't need bleach for this video, unfortunately. Um, it said if your hair is light enough, you can just go ahead and put it on top. But that is the bleach I use. I do get it from Sally's. You're also going to need your hair dye. Um, I got all my supplies from Sally's, so they're all right there. You're also going to need clips for your hair. and some dirty clothes that you're not worried about getting dirty. So let's get started. So the first thing I do when I do my hair is I go ahead and I do separate it. So I use my comb. Um, this process I find takes a while because you want to make sure that you get all the colored ones up in the air um, and don't take the black ones out obviously. So we're just going to fast forward through this because it is a long process for me and I will show you at the end. Again, I'm not a hairdresser. The part is not perfect. It is just what I can do with what I can see. So I mean, if you're going to comment that the video is not good, that that's totally up to yourself. But I'm doing the best I can because I do love doing my hair and it costs so much money when you go get it done professionally. And I can afford that right now. So. So I'm going to go ahead and we are going to grab a clip here so we can put our hair up and get it out of our face. And then you're just going to take the bottom half, which is the black, and I'm just double checking to make sure that I didn't miss anything and that I didn't leave any blue down. And then I'm just going to take that and I'm going to go ahead and clip that one back as well with another clip. If I can open it. <laughs> there we go. All right. So we're going to clip that back as well. And then we are going to get started on the dye process. So I go ahead and I part my hair in the middle because you want to get your roots for sure. And like I said, we still have the black pin down underneath. So it makes it easier that way for you to just go ahead and do the blue, which is on top. I cannot believe how bad my roots are at the moment. I'm actually quite embarrassed. <laughs> so put your gloves on to protect your hands. So I'm going in with the purple first. Now this one does need to be mixed with a developer. I have a 10 developer. Um, I'm really bad at this. I just kind of eyeball it as I go along. So it says to put one part developer and one part hair dye. So that is what I did. Again, I just kind of eyeballed it as much as I thought I needed. If you do not take enough, you can always mix more afterwards. Um, it really isn't a big deal, but I had actually just mixed enough for my hair. So that was pretty awesome. So I always start off with my roots when I do my hair because that's how it's always told me to do it in the box dye. So you want to go ahead and make sure that you get it on your roots um, as much as possible because those are the ones that are going to need it the most if you're going to be having your hair down. So. And then I go ahead and I do the front. So pretty much same thing as box dye instructions is how I do my hair. 
and then you just go through like that and make sure you don't miss any of the baby hairs or anything like that. I was kind of freaking out at this point because this hair dye actually stayed white for a really long time and it was scaring me because I was starting to think that it wasn't going to turn purple but it did as you can see from the title so if you do buy this brand I'm not sure if it's just the purple that did that or if it's all the colors they have but um, don't freak out it does change color eventually so just a heads up on that. Once all your roots are done, you're just going to want to go ahead and smoosh and start working it in towards the top. I find it easier if I just start from like underneath. I go ahead and I try to separate it the best I can from where I had done my roots at the top. And then just pick a side and start bringing it down further so you can make sure that you get it all the way to your ends.
I had a hard time opening it because my hands are messy and I clipped the purple up. Then I went ahead and got a towel that I didn't care about to go ahead and wipe off the extra on my forehead. And I timed it for 25 minutes and let it sit. I came back and did the black, same thing, one per one. I eyeballed it again. Um, I left the purple in just to let you know for about 10 minutes and then came in and mixed the black all together. So by the time I was done mixing and everything, the black was in for about, I want to say 10 minutes. Um, and then I went and washed the purple out. I put in a pre-sealer treatment while I did the purple and I let the black sit for another 10 minutes. So 20 minutes total. I will put down all the times below of how long I let everything sit for. Now, same concept for the black. Once you start, start with your roots and then just go down. Make sure you get underneath your baby hairs on your neck and everything like that as well. And again, just like with the purple, make sure you get it all the way down to the ends of your hair so that you have an even color distribution. All right, now the black's done. We're just gonna let that sit and wait to see what it does. And now I've washed out the purple and the black and here's what it looked like. I absolutely love it. It was so vibrant and so pretty. So all I did is blow dry it and straighten it a bit. And these were the results when it was all done and dry. absolutely beautiful guys I hope you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you'd like to see more DIYs of things like this and until next time makeup junkies love you guys so much bye